P sound is a voiceless sound. You'll hear, if you pay attention to your chest, that you're not going to hear any vibrations when you make the P, P, P sound. But in this next one, the B sound, B, 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 can you hear the vibration? This is a voiced sound. It's a bilabial plosive. It's a bilabial plosive again, but the difference is, is that this is voiced. B. So the same technique of building up pressure, the lips come together. B. 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 But I allow my vocal cords to relax and to vibrate, causing this voiced accent. B. 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 You hear that slight buzz as I say the letter. Also, the P, the P I would say is more explosive and the B is slightly less. B. B. You see that it's slightly more relaxed in how I let go of the pressure. B. B. I also allow the air to come out more or less more diverse or more dispersed. It's not coming out with that t intensity as I use when I use the P. B. B. It's kind of like relaxing, relaxing my mouth as I drop away from the lips touching. B. B. And this relaxation also allows my vocal cords to create that voiced sound. We have words like bat. B. B. Okay, follow along. B. 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 Great. And now for some words. Bat. Ball. Bun. Bat. So the main issue that non-native speakers have normally with the B sound is that they don't really get that vibration coming from the voiced sound. B, 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 b. It actually comes across as a p sound because it is a voiceless sound that they're making. So pay attention when you record yourself, are you feeling the vocal cords move and create the buzz, the buzzing B effect, okay? I'm gonna call that voiced sound the buzzing B effect and you should be able to feel it as you touch your chest and as you listen back to your recordings. Remember, always be recording your sounds with your iPhone or with your mobile phone to make sure that you're able to listen back and see if you're really following my sounds to make sure that your sounds are sounding the same. But yes, pay attention to whether you're making the bzzzed voiced sound, okay? That's the key for the b. Bat. Big. Bet. So middle of the words, table. Cabin, ribbon, rubber, hobby. Some end of the words, cab, tab, rib, web. Awesome. That is the B sound, extremely important sound that you need to pay attention to. So enjoy, post up your practice for the B sound, and this will be your second day in the challenge, working on your individual sounds to build up to speaking fluently in English. Remember, all these sounds are extremely essential to become fluent in English. And if you have weaknesses in any of these individual sounds, of course, when you keep building and speaking further and further up into your English language journey, you're always gonna be making these small mistakes that are gonna affect your confidence and your speaking ability. So pay attention to the small details and really get deep on these sounds. See you in the next one.